Boom. So, proper YouTuber intro. We're going to keep this quick. We're going to keep it nice and concise for you. I hear the same question all the time. What do girls find attractive? And it's quite an ironic question because it's very hard to answer. It's very broad. It's, very, it's a vast question that has a lot of different components to it. It's not just, oh, be confident, do this, do that. It's not just a one word answer to this question, right? This is the problem though. You boys are walking around thinking that there's this one size fits all, there's this one cure that's gonna make you attractive to every single woman on earth. It doesn't work like that. Believe me, there's been girls that have said they like this one thing about me and they find it attractive. And then there's also girls that have said that exact same thing is unattractive. Just like you have your own preference, you might like black girls, blonde girls, Asian girls, whatever it may be, you've got your own preference, what you find attractive. And you've also got your preference, what you find unattractive. Girls are the same. So for you to walk around thinking that there's this one cure that's gonna solve everything for you is very, very ignorant. Understand, and believe me, I'm talking from real life experience, women have different preferences. One girl might find this guy attractive, one girl might find him unattractive. One girl might only like guys that are over six foot. One girl might just not care as long as you're taller than them. Preference. So with that being said, how can we make sure that you walk away from this video being attractive to 99% of women, even with all the different preferences? Because it's absolutely possible for you to be the exception. So many times, I've told this a million times before, I've been the exception. I've had black girls that say, oh, I don't really date white guys. They're absolutely in love with me. I've had Muslim girls that say, yeah, I only really date guys that are the same, you know, religion or race, whatever as me. I'm a white guy. Yeah, you're not bad for a white guy. You know, there's something different about you. I've had girls that say, oh, this is my type normally. And I'm the complete opposite to their type. Boom, but I'm the exception. So even though these girls have all these different preferences of what they like, I'm still able to come in and be an exception. I'm still able to be the guy that's like, oh, I don't usually go for guys like that, but something different about him. Now, I was watching my old YouTube shorts from when I started to re-upload to this channel again after I deleted my videos. You can go and check them out as well. The ones where I'm in the club, basically just partying, right? And I watched them back. And I kind of cringe at it a little bit now because obviously we, we're constantly evolving as men. We're constantly changing and growing. So I look back and I cringe at it now. You know, it's just the way I'm dressing, the way I'm acting. It's a bit just different to how I would do things now. Even with that being said, I've never had a problem with women. Now, sure, when I was younger, when I was like 17, 16, 15, whatever, I still got girls, but I was very socially awkward, very shy. It didn't really go as well as it could have gone, right? Now, the one thing that's helped me from when I used to, when I was watching those YouTube shorts all the way up to now, one thing that has been the, the, the remaining factor, even for all my different phases that I've been through, I've changed my style up, I've changed this, I've changed that, I've changed how I act, I've changed who I want to be as a man. I'm, I'm evolving, right? Even with all these ever-changing things, I've still maintained this level of attractiveness to most women I come into contact with. It's very, very rare that I find a woman that thinks he's unattractive. And I know this sounds very arrogant, but I'm going to get onto this in a second. It's confidence. Now, don't click off because I know you've heard this a million times before. Oh, confidence, bro. Confidence is the answer. Yeah, just be confident. Then women will like you. But what does that even mean? What does it actually mean to just be confident, bro? Because it's true. It's not, it's not a fallacy. It's absolutely true. Yes, confidence is one of the, if not the most important component to being attracted to women. You could be the best looking guy in the world, the best jawline, the best genetics, you're six foot five basketball player. Yeah, sure, some women are going to sleep with you just because of your physical looks. But 90%, as soon as you open your mouth and they realize that you're shy, timid, awkward, you stutter when you speak, you can't hold a conversation, you have no life experience, you're not witty or funny, you have nothing to talk about, you're very boring and mundane. If that's you, you're not going to do very well with women. So confidence is absolutely one of the most vital parts to it. So how do we improve on this? How do we actually genuinely become confident? Rather than me just saying, yeah, bro, just be confident. What the fuck does that even mean? Because I used to be one of those guys that was 17 years old, socially awkward, trying to figure out the skill of attracting women. Because just like anything, it's a skill. It's something that you can get better at, which should give you hope. Because if I've done it, you can too. Number one, 
obviously, yes, little bonus tip, I guess step zero is understanding that everything is preference. All women have different preference. Some girls are gonna like you, some girls are not. Simple, right? I understand that. Logically, not every single girl is gonna find me attractive. However, step one is to simply believe that I can get any girl on this planet. I hear, go I hear some guys saying things like, that girl's out of my league. I could never get her. I should never like a guy like me. Why the fuck are you bringing yourself down to that level? Why are you self-deprecating yourself, shooting yourself in the foot before you've even given the girl a chance to do it? If she doesn't like you, that's fine. You can't make every girl like you, yeah? But why wouldn't you believe that you can get any girl on the planet? Because you're not gonna know until you try, but you're not gonna try if you don't believe in yourself. So the belief is step one. Before I tell you how to be confident in terms of the way you walk and who you are and how you talk and your hand gestures and all this like practical stuff, you must just believe that you are the kind of man that is capable of getting any girl on this planet. You must believe you are the fucking man. You're that main character, whatever you want to call it. I know there's a lot of different phrases for this. You're him, you're the main character, you're the fucking man. You must just believe that you can do that. Every single time I walk into the club, even back then, when, you know, I was still trying to learn the game, I was still trying to figure out the, the, the skill of attracting women. That was, if you go back and watch those YouTube shorts where I'm in the club, where I've got the Christmas hat on and I'm just showing myself kissing loads of different girls. I was running through them, bro, for a better phrase. Absolutely running through these fucking hoes. I had no problem at all. I'd look around me and the girls would be surrounding me and all the other guys would just be standing in the corner, <laughs> vaping, trying to look cool, trying to tense the jawline and shit. I just walk in there believing I can get any girl and oh, whoops, they accidentally all flock towards me. I wonder why. It's not a coincidence. I wasn't even dressed that good. I was still trying to figure out style. I was still trying to figure out who I wanted to be as a man. I wasn't fully who I am today. I was still in the process of learning the game. I still didn't even really know what I was doing with women. I didn't have any riz. But the one thing I did have was belief. Now, if belief alone, even back then, was allowing me to just run through those girls, if that one component alone was enough for me to absolutely clean up, then it's going to be enough for you too, right? Physique wasn't that good. It was decent. It's not what it is today. It's much better today. Everything that you see in front of you today is a, is a more evolved version of what I used to be back then. But even back then, I still, still did well. Still had no problem, ever. And it's because I believed in myself. I really want to hone in on that point before I move on to the second ones. You must, every single where, everywhere you walk, everywhere you go, the gym, the bar, the club, all the thoughts that you get must be on your side. Now, yes, you're going to get intrusive thoughts. Yes, sometimes you're going to believe, ah, oh, you know, I feel a bit insecure. That girl's not going to like me. You're going to get these thoughts that pop into your brain sometimes. Of course, that's normal. You can't necessarily, excuse me, you can't necessarily control what thoughts come into your brain, but you can control whether or not you listen to them. So if I get a thought right now when I walk outside my house, you know, shortly after recording these videos and I walk to the gym, for whatever reason, I might catch myself in a car mirror. Maybe my hair's a bit all over the place, so it's not the way I like it. And I think, oh, bro, I'm just, I look ugly. Or you know what, I'm kind of an ugly guy. You get these random intrusive thoughts sometimes. You have to ask yourself, does this thought give me power, confidence, strength? Does it make me believe in myself even more? Or is it taking that away from me? Because if any thought strips power away from yourself, you must not feed it, ignore it, replace it with a positive one. That is how you form this subconscious belief. I could go really deep in this video and drag it out for like an hour and give you a full guide to mastering your subconscious mind. Maybe I'll do that one day. But for now, I'll save that for the coaching down below. If you want to learn how to change your beliefs, because I used to believe I was the kind of guy that just couldn't get girls. I wasn't really that popular in high school. You know, I was, I was all right. I was kind of like the middle guy. You know, I was friends with everyone, but I wasn't the popular guy. So naturally, because of that, I grew up just believing, ah, you know, girls don't really like me. I'm just kind of average. I believed that. But now I walk around and I believe that I'm the fucking, I believe I'm a celebrity or some shit. You know what I mean? I believe I'm the fucking guy that everyone wants. I genuinely believe that. Every club I walk into, I believe I can get any girl in there. There is not one girl I look at and think, oh, you know, I'm intimidated by or I feel like, oh, I couldn't get her. I genuinely believe I can get anyone. Now, like I said, I'm not deluded. I understand logically, like I said before about the preference thing, that that's not true. Logically, yes, some girls are just gonna find me unattractive. But the belief of me believing that I can get any girl is what's gonna make me appear and feel the most confident 
So why wouldn't I feed into that? Why wouldn't I believe that? Why would I ever look at a girl and think, oh, I could never get her? Why would I do that? It doesn't give me any confidence. It doesn't help me at all. Even if it's not true, I may as well just believe it because it gives me the most confidence. And then it allows me to actually try. And once I've tried, that's when I'll get feedback from reality. Okay, the girl rejected me. She just wasn't into me. Cool, no problem. At least I can say I tried. But if I didn't believe in myself, I wouldn't have even tried in the first place. So you understand how powerful belief is. I really want you to, to remember that. That's step one. Step two is your speech. So again, you can believe you're the fucking man. You can go in there walking all confident and stuff with your good posture. You could be dressed nice, smelling good. I'm not going to cover all the bare basics in this video. You know, your hygiene, have a shower, cut your fingernails, groom yourself, little things like that. You know, I'm not going to cover all of that. I hope that you are intelligent enough to just take pride in your appearance and take pride in the things that make you feel confident in yourself. Don't neglect them. Don't get lazy with them. You know, every now and then you might feel the temptation. Your nails are a bit overgrown. Oh, I can't be arsed. I'll just leave it for another week. Don't be like that. Stay on top of it. Stay sharp with it. Make sure you're taking pride in who you are and you're living life, you know, in a way that makes you feel confident. Always stay on top of that. Don't get complacent. So I'm not going to cover all of that shit. Make sure your clothes are clean. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you're, you know, smelling nice, deodorant, cologne, take a shower, bare basic shit. But if you've got that covered, cool. You're better than like 90% of guys because most guys fucking stink, right? It's embarrassing. Secondly is speech. So like I said, you can have all this stuff covered. You can be better than 90% of guys, but if you open your mouth and you start stuttering or you don't really know what to say, like I said, you have no life experience. You don't really know what to talk about. You have no, no conversation skills. I used to be like that. You know the only way that I improved on my speech? Practice. Now, it's not a sexy answer for me to give you. It doesn't sound very cool. It's not like a quick magic fix for you to improve your speech. I'm going to give you some of those in a second. But the main way that you can do it is just by practicing. How do you get better at riding a bike? How do you get better at the skill of riding a bike? You practice, you get on the bike, you fall off, you lose balance. It's the same with absolutely anything. It's the same with being more attractive. It's the same with attracting women. It's the same with your game and riz and whatever you want to call it. It's the same with your speech. So I used to stutter. When I first started recording videos, I used to stutter. I used to be very unclear. I used to lose my train of thought. I used to not really, especially in conversations in group settings, that was my weakness. I used to never really know what to talk about, never really know how to help the conversation. But now, bro, you see me talking all the time. I can chat shit for fucking hours. So if my brain is now able to just constantly think of something to say, whether that be witty, funny things to make the girl laugh, whether that just be general conversation, it's practice that's helped me to get here. Now you can combine this skill of practice, and this basically just means get used to opening your mouth a bit more, saying things. Even if you're by yourself, let's say you fall over and you slip over and you're in the park and there's no one else around you, but just practice that skill of opening your mouth and just speaking the thoughts that come to your mind. Obviously, don't be offensive or insulting, but just get used to saying whatever comes to your mind first. Don't overthink these things. Don't walk up to a girl and think, what should I say? Okay, I'm going to follow this script. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to say that. Forget about that. Just be present in the moment and say whatever comes to your mind first, right? That's step one. Practice doing that. Just practice opening your mouth, speaking things. How's your day going? Hello to people, random people on the street. Start small and just build up that skill of speaking and getting used to opening your mouth. Because I used to walk around with, it was as if my mouth was glued shut, terrified to say anything because, oh, I hope I say the right thing. I don't want to say something that's going to embarrass myself. Like really just over concerned with it. And that's why you start stuttering. That's why you're like, uh, 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 because your brain is like, now nah, we shouldn't be saying this because we might say something that's embarrassing. You have to forget about all that shit. Eliminate all the noise and just live your life in a way that you want to live it. Okay, and that's one of the most important things I want you to take from this video, regardless of all the other tips I'm going to give you in a second. The main thing you must understand when it comes to you being an attractive individual, and that goes for men and women, it's just live life authentically to yourself, okay? You're not being authentic if you are trying to be somebody else, trying to dress like someone else, okay? That's not you. Like I said before, women are very in tune with energy. They can sense, they can pick up on that. So if you're being inauthentic, if you're trying to dress like something you're not because you think that that's going to make you attractive to women, 
They can feel the inauthenticity just breezing off you. It's not attractive. So the main thing you can do is just look at yourself and think, how do I want to live my life? What do I like doing? How do I like to live? And stick to that. If you've got these bare basics covered of the mindset, the speech, and what I'm going to talk about in a second, and obviously the hygiene and all the other stuff, and you are confident in yourself, and you're confident in who you are as a man and who you want to be, then all the other stuff about genetics and all this shit just doesn't matter. Because like I said before, I've been the exception so many times, so if I can do it, you can as well. And it's nothing to do with my genetics. So make sure you're staying authentic to how you want to live your life and you're not allowing anyone else to kind of steer you off that path. Because some guys will, will look at someone else and think, well, you know, girls like that guy. Girls find that attractive, so I'm going to try and be like that. That's a mistake because you're not being authentic to you. Okay, now I know some guys are going to say, well, you know, what if I'm a loser? What if that's my authentic self is, is just I'm a loser, I'm awkward, I'm shy. Then what do I do? Well, then you simply improve on that foundation that you've already got. That's still you. Authentically, you're still that guy, but you've just improved on it. You've improved on the little sub skills that make you who you are. So it's not like you're being inauthentic by then trying to be confident because you're still you. You're just a better version of who you are. So even if you are shy, awkward, and, you know, socially anxious, work on those skills and improve it. But stay authentic to yourself as you do it. Don't think that you need to be like this or you need to be like that in order to be attractive. There is no need for anything. Just be who you want to be and do it confidently. So back to the speech thing, right? Because, and again, like I said before about the energy, right? Girls can sense that a lot. If I'm angry, if I'm pissed off, even if I don't show it to the world... My girl can just sense it. She just knows. The very in tune of energy. It's a feminine trait. So just keep that in mind. Now, with the speech thing, yes, practice. Open your mouth more. Say things. Start off small. Say, how's your day going to people, etc. That little, little things like that. Read and writing is also a very, very good one. So I have a journal right here. I'm going to show you. This video is dragged out, but I like it. But we're just chilling. Journal right here. Full of pages. It's actually falling apart right now because the fucking back in but you can see it look at all that man yeah do a lot of writing i read a lot there's books that i'm literally holding you up on right now a lot of reading a lot of writing that helps to just slow your mind down so a lot of you guys are speaking too fast in conversations trying to get all the words out. i can't even hear what you're saying no idea what you've just said do you know what i mean or you're talking with this very low timid tone like yeah yeah, yeah. like you're scared of people hearing you when you speak, you want to send your words to the person. You can see how I'm doing it right now. How I'm emphasizing certain words when I'm speaking to you. That is me sending my words to you. That's why you can watch for 18 minutes straight with no edits. And you're paying attention the whole time. If you have made it this far, comment the word rapid down below because I want to know who the real G's are. Regardless, you have to have an engaging and convicting way of speaking. Don't speak with this timid, low tone. Believe in what you're saying. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Yeah, you must believe it. When you speak, you make sure that every word that you say, you believe those words. You're not trying to be something you're not. This is why I talk about authenticity is so important. Because every word that I speak to you, I believe it. I truly, in this moment right now, I believe these words. That's why I can say them with confidence and conviction. That's why you listen. But if I come on here and I'm trying to be something that I'm not, and I'm not really sure about what my opinion is, I'm not really sure about how I see the world, I'm going to be stuttering. I'm going to be talking with this timid, shy tone because I don't want you to really hear me because what if I say something that's not right? Got to believe in what you're saying. Reading and writing helps us a lot because it helps just slow things down. So when you do actually start speaking, you're used to saying things at a more slower pace. This helps you come across more confident. Right? And there's also little things you can do like pausing every now and then when you're speaking. Like that. It just adds a bit of emphasis. It adds a bit of... Make sure people are paying attention to you. Because if I'm just like this, really talking really fast and making sure I'm getting all the words out, it's too much. And it's not, certainly not attractive or confident. You understand? Make sure you're breathing as well when you are speaking. So making sure you're getting oxygen to the brain so your brain can actually compute what it is that you're saying. This is another reason why a lot of you guys are stuttering and why I used to stutter. And I still do sometimes on camera. It's because my abs are tensed. I'm tense in my body. I'm, I'm nervous. Do you know what I mean? So it... It restricts the oxygen, oxygen to the brain, as you can just see then. So you want to practice the habit of just breathing in between conversations. 
Now, I'm not talking about sitting there and fucking meditating halfway through, but just make sure you're consciously aware of your breath. You're keeping your belly nice and relaxed. You're not tensing it. It's taking those breaths, yeah? So that's speech covered. That's number two. Number one, mindset. Believe you can do anything. Believe you can get any girl on this planet, even if it's, even it's not true, right? You may as well just believe that. That's going to help you act in the most confident way. Number two is your speech. Making sure you're slowing things down, doing all the other things that I said, okay? Practice, breathing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Number three is your demeanor. Now, what do I mean by this? Basically, the way you carry yourself. And I see a lot of guys, this is going to be a quick one just to finish off, but I see a lot of guys walking around with their head down, looking at the floor, or maybe when they're in the club and they're standing there just vaping, they're not really doing anything. This is not a very confident demeanor. Now, I'm not trying to tell you how to act or how you should be as a man. Do whatever you want. But for the most part, just stand up straight. Good posture. Shoulders back, chest out. Look up when you're walking around. Pay attention to the world around you. Don't sit there on your phone with your shit posture. Don't sit there looking at the pavement because you're scared of making eye contact. Pay attention, strong, firm handshake. It's all of these little things that make you who you are, that demeanor, that's what a demeanor is. It's how you carry yourself. It's the little things that you do. Your handshake, your eye contact, the way you speak to people, okay? Make sure it's always in alignment with the man that you want to be. If you just ask yourself, would the man that I want to be, the confident, charismatic guy, the social guy that's attractive to women, would he be walking around with his head down looking at the floor when he walks outside? No. Would he shake hands with some fucking limp dick hand? No. Firm, strong handshake, man. Squeeze it a little bit when you fucking shake the hand. I shouldn't have to be... Why do I have a stronger handshake than every guy that I meet? It's embarrassing. It shouldn't be... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Bro, get on it. It's little things like this that just make the difference. Eye contact when you're talking to somebody. Pay attention. What are you scared of? You're afraid of looking someone in the eyes? Like, what the fuck's the worst that could happen? Seriously, think about what it is that you're doing and think about how you're carrying yourself when you're walking down the street, when you're out in the real world and you're interacting with people. And think to yourself, could I be doing this better? Could I improve on this? Don't feel ashamed of it. Don't beat yourself up because of it. Work on it, learn on it, you know, enjoy the process of mastering this skill of just being a more attractive and confident version of yourself. It's a skill and it's fun. You look back at my old videos, go all the way back to the oldest video that I've recorded. And that's not even my first video. I had loads before that that I deleted, but go back and watch my first video and go back to this one and look at how I've changed. Look at how different I speak. Maybe it's not that drastic, it's only a couple of months. But you'll see, you'll notice small little changes in the way that I speak, in the way that I do things. Now, even back then, I was still confident in myself. I still believed in myself. Even though I was aware, I was in the process of learning. I wasn't where I wanted to be. But I still believed I was the fucking man. Even if you're not where you want to be, attractive-wise, confidence-wise, whatever it may be, speech-wise, as you can see, I still stutter to this day. It happens. Does, do I let that affect who I am and how I conduct myself? No. I embrace it. I laugh at my weaknesses. I look back now and I think, you know what? I laugh at places where I went wrong. Like, what the fuck was I wearing there? Did I think I looked good? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Laugh at yourself. Have this humour. And this is the thing. All of these little things that make you attractive. Wittiness, being funny, being able to think on the spot and to say things. That level of confidence, that level of cheekiness as if you know that you're the fucking guy. You know what I mean? It's different. Not many guys have that. And it's also exciting for women to be around a guy like that as well. Because most guys are boring. Most guys are just, yeah. Yeah, do you want to come back to mine? <sighs> Vape. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Just there's nothing really about them. There's no energy. You know what I mean? And I've always, always, always spoke about energy on this channel because it's one of the most important things you can do in any area of your life. When I come on this camera, if my energy isn't into it, I'm, you're not going to get the same feeling of inspiration you're not going to i'm not going to get the same success as if my energy was very low vibration right and i'm not talking about being autistic and being just loud and brash and annoying but it's this level of just enjoyment for life look at the world around you be grateful for it and just enjoy the art of being alive just enjoy every single day as you wake up and as you're learning new things and as you're evolving as a man stop attaching your ego to these little things like, oh, whether or not I get girls in the club. This is what some guys do and this is why they just stand there boring as fuck because they're so terrified of doing anything because they, feel, they think their ego, their self-worth is attached to whether or not they can get girls. 
So they're so scared of rejection because they believe that if they do get rejected, that they're less of a man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and that's how you've got to think. You've got to walk in and like, I don't give a shit. It doesn't make any difference to who I am as a man, whether or not I get rejected right now. I'm still that fucking guy. And that's how you've got to walk through the world just believing. No matter what happens externally, you're still the fucking man, regardless of what you go through. Always hold that mindset. Because some guys walk in the club and they think, well, I'm not going to approach any girl because if I do and I get rejected, then it makes me not attractive or it damages my ego. I embrace that. I like that because it helps me learn. The amount of dates that I've been on that have just not gone well, they're awkward. Even, they, I make me cringe thinking about it even to this day. Countless. I can't even count them. It's been so many. The amount of times I've been in the club and I got rejected. The amount of times I've approached a girl on the street, got rejected. It's part of the process. And if that makes you embarrassed to be able to say those things, like, yeah, I approached a girl and I got rejected, then you need to man up, quite frankly. The fuck are you scared of? There's too much ego involved. And that's quite ironic because you're being egotistical, but you're not even getting any results. What are you egotistical about? Why do you even have an ego involved in this situation in the first place? You're not getting any results. You have no need, you have no justification for the ego. Do you know what I mean? I'm ranting a little bit now, but you get the point. The coaching is down below if you want to learn more from me. To summarise this video and to really give you something to take away, if anything else, is just the mindset of you are the fucking man regardless. Whether or not you're in the process of just starting your journey, whether or not you feel like you're at a very good position, you're very confident, you're still that guy. you got to walk through the world believing you are that guy no matter what. And I heard people refer to it as like, the, you're the main character or whatever. That's a good mindset. I actually quite like that. Yeah, you are the main character. This is your fucking life. This is your world. Fucking own it and own who you are with confidence. With that being said, the sexual mastery course is also down below. If you want to learn how to cure premature ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, your porn addiction, transmutation, whatever it may be, it's all down there in that video course. Go and check it out. Look after yourself and I'll see you soon.